that account differed from the updated timeline Las Vegas police provided on Monday, when they said Campos had been shot six minutes before Paddock, 64, opened fire on the crowd from his 32nd floor suite and killed 58 people on October 1. MGM said on Tuesday the revised police timeline might not be accurate. A Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department spokesman, Officer Larry Hadfield, said the police would have no immediate comment on the hotel's Thursday statement. The Las Vegas Office of the Federal Bureau of Investigation could not immediately be reached for comment. Clark County Sheriff Joseph Lombardo, who oversees the police department, on Wednesday defended the speed of the police response in an interview with the Las Vegas CBS television affiliate. No matter what that timeline was, the response was as quick as possible. I don't think the response could have been any faster, Lombardo said in a video posted on the station's website. The revised timeline police provided on Monday had raised new questions, including why Paddock ceased firing on concertgoers once he began, and whether hotel security and police coordinated as well as first believed. MGM, which owns the Mandalay Bay Hotel, said the 9.59 p.m. time when police said Campos was shot was derived from a hotel report created manually after the fact without the benefit of information the hotel now has. We are now confident that the time stated in this report is not accurate, MGM said. We know that shots were being fired at the festival lot at the same time as, or within 40 seconds after, the time Jesus Campos first reported that shots were fired over the radio. Las Vegas police officers were with armed hotel security officers in the building when Campos, who was checking an open-door alarm on that floor, first reported that shots were fired over the radio, MGM said. Both groups immediately responded to the 32nd floor. The police have said they assembled a SWAT team and burst into Paddock's room to find him dead 81 minutes after the shooting began. We will continue to work with law enforcement as we have from the first moments of this tragedy as they work toward developing an accurate timeline, MGM said. MGM's new timeline is a blow to lawyers representing some of the victims, whose claims depended heavily on the hotel's allegedly delayed response following the shooting of Campos. A lawsuit filed in Nevada State Court on Tuesday on behalf of a California woman injured in the shooting had alleged the hotel acted negligently by responding too late. Niamh Ramani, a Los Angeles lawyer representing some of the victims, did not immediately respond to a request for comment on MGM's statement.